Live from Fine Top, Arizona, it's that painting show starring the color queen. Hi folks, I'm Beth Zink. Welcome to that painting show day six. Today as promised, we're talking about the magic of color. Like my hat, my magician's hat. Anyway, there are five elements of art, color, line, texture, shape, and form. And in the next several segments, we'll talk about all of these. But for today, and probably the next segment, we're gonna talk all about color. But first, Dr. John, who's today's lucky duck? The lucky duck today is Doug from Colorado. Whoa, <laughs> duck from Colorado, Doug from Colorado. Doug asks, why don't you put rattlesnakes in your desert landscapes? Oh, I hate snakes. That's what I don't like putting critters in any of my desert landscapes, as a matter of fact. But I have to say, when we talk about texture in a few days from now, this is a rattlesnake skin, which has beautiful texture. Back to our color. I handcrafted this gorgeous color wheel for you today. Because I'm going to explain to you about this is color 101, okay? The primary colors that all colors are made from are red, yellow, and blue. So let's just go ahead and put these right up here on our color wheel. Red, yellow, and blue. What happens when you mix red and yellow? You get Right, orange. Dr. John, did you know that one? Of course I did. I've been a real artist for years. What do you get when you mix red and blue? Orange. Purple <laughs> or violet. You can call it either one. I think they're interchangeable. And what do you get when you mix blue and yellow? Purple. <laughs> nice try. Green. So red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors. Green, orange, and violet are the secondary colors. Then we have the two name colors, red, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, green, blue, green, blue, violet, and red, violet. Hey, look, it worked. So that is our color wheel. Color queen, I have a question. What? What does warm or cool color mean? Good question. Warm colors and cool colors. These are what you call your warm colors, your reds, your oranges, your yellows. This side of the color wheel. Think fire, sunsets, those are warm things. Cool colors, blues, greens, and violets. Think forests, lakes, mountains. So that's why we call them warm and cool. Any more questions? Thank you, color queen. There'll be more. <laughs> okay, good. All right. So what I wanted to tell you about uh, the color wheel is that we have opposites on the color wheel, just like black paint is the opposite of white, black and white or opposites. <clears throat> opposites on the color wheel have just as much contrast, create just as much drama in a painting as black versus white. So look straight across from red and what do you see? Green. Red is the opposite of green. If you want to have dynamism and excitement in a painting, put red next to green. Or blue across from orange or violet across from yellow. That'll do it every time. Hey, I have this great book called Color Mixing for Artists, because color mixing is one of the challenging parts of painting. It's uh, by John Lidsey and other people, and they actually give you recipes for mixing colors. And this is so helpful when you're not in a painting class and can't raise your hand and ask your teacher. This is a great little book, Color Mixing for Artists. John Lidsey, L-I-D-Z-E-Y is the first name. Color Queen. 
Yeah. I have another question. Okay. What does value mean? Value in painting has nothing to do with ethics or morals. Ha! Huh. It's the lightness or darkness of a color. So if you add white to a color, you get a lighter value. If you add black to a color, you get a darker value. Those are good questions. I think that's about it for our color wheel today. We'll talk extensively tomorrow about more of the information about color. So next is our super sale of the day. So color queen, what is the super sale of the day? The super sale of the day is still 25% off pillows, G clays and note cards. We're extending this sale through uh, April. And by the way, see how this red background against the green, that, that was by design, opposite colors. I think that's a bit about it for us today with the exception of pearls of wisdom. Color queen, what are today's pearls of wisdom? Well, this one's from Henry Ford. He said, whether you think you're right or think you're wrong, you're probably right. No, that wasn't it. He said, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're probably right. Stay safe, stay well. Thanks for joining us. I hope this was helpful about the color wheel. And uh, cheers. Bye-bye.